Rich, a few more miles for the lads on Saturday. Tough trip to York, but um, in terms of them being top of the table, it's the kind of games the lads must be looking forward to. Exactly. It's um, it's one of them games where you sort of top their top of the league. It's a real challenge. Um, big crowd there, 3,000 odd. You know, you, these are the games you want to play in, and um, you know, we're really looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, can't wait to can't wait for tomorrow now. And I mean, there's more of a compliment to York than any disrespect to the lads here but I guess we're going there really and there aren't too many that give us much of a chance does that take the pressure off the lads in some ways? Um, we, we have our own pressure we, we, there's pressure to perform and obviously put on a performance for the fans and for ourselves um, but I think everyone outside of the group will be expecting sort of York to uh, win but obviously we feel different we feel there we can go and hurt them and um, that's what we'll be planning on doing. And that's the thing, isn't it? You have to go there with that belief because I guess otherwise you may as well not get on the bus, don't you? Exactly. I mean, I don't think they're, they're sort of winning by massive margins as well. I think the games are quite tight. So teams are going there and causing them problems. I think they're well organised. They're a, a solid team. They've got good depth and uh, lads who have been there and done it. And, um, you know, on our day, hopefully we can um, cause them a lot of problems. And credit to them in the sense that putting everyone together any kind of run together in this league has, has proved difficult, obviously, over, over the last couple of years, but they, they seem to be clicking. Exactly. I mean, you know, it's, I think they've sort of threw a lot of money at it in the, the last few seasons and they finally seem to have got it right this season. And, um, yeah, they're doing really well and I've got, I think they've got a nice balance there. And um, it's something we, it's a club we can look at now and sort of think, you know, can we be like them and can we start to put wins together and be more solid and, um, you know, get them back-to-back -back wins and uh, really push up the table. Getting back-to-back -back wins after Farsley and before Darlington was the big thing, wasn't it? It was the next thing the lads yeah. needed to tick off. With that in mind, was Wednesday even more disappointing? It was disappointing, obviously, um, with the decision as well, even more disappointing because we felt like we sort of had a bit of a mountain to climb after a, a, what we felt was a free kick. Um, but that's that. obviously we need to defend well better after that and um, we needed to be better in the final third. Um, but again, what, you can't dwell on it for too long I've in this league. You know, you've got another game two days later and it's, it's about putting that right now and um, going again. You mentioned margins when you were talking about York. Are you able to keep things like that in your mind in the sense that were it not for a really good save late on or, or another shot going a couple of inches the other way, we, we'd have easily have got at least something Wednesday. You, you, equally, not losing games by a lot either. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's it's... You know, we don't always have to play perfect to get a result. Can we grind out results? Can we go in at half, at half time at Darlington nil nil instead of being one nil behind? It's it's little, it's fine margins in this league. It's um, we need, we've got a young squad, and I think it's it's learning as we go. And um, you know, it, game by game, can we improve on the last one? And that's what that's what we're trying to do at the minute. There have been some big gaps between games, obviously, just recently, but yourself personally, you seem to be getting yourself into your stride in, in, in terms of your form and your performances. Are you you're feeling? I feel that? good. I feel like a full time really benefit from that. I um, feel fit, feel sharp, and um, hopefully I can sort of help in and around uh, a bit more experience. I mean, that sounds mad for 26, but um, yeah, so it's, um, I think, you know, we, we've got everything in here to uh, really push on, and um, I think if we're, we're patient and we. Um, we can use it use it well. We've got a good manager, good staff all, all around. We've got good players. We just need to uh, work work well and work hard. You've mentioned the difference of the full time training. We've spoken about it since since you came back to the club. But was it always going to take that couple of months? Obviously, we're edging towards no November time now, or in early November. You're starting to feel the benefit of that in your legs now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, you know, full pre season. Obviously, I picked up an injury then, and um, you know, it, it can take a little while. And I think. You know, the full-time training can take it out of you, but once you're used to it, you feel so much better for it. And that, that's how I feel at the minute, is so much fitter and uh, sharper. And hopefully um, I can, you know, put in some more good performances. And it's another uh, Saturday, Tuesday. We're talking about the gaps between games, but there's an opportunity now that six points up for grabs. The lads will want to take as much as many as they can, won't they? Definitely, and be as positive as possible. And can we, can we get maximum points or, you know... And um, it's, it's good because we've had a long break and I've, we've all missed playing football and we want to play football. So uh, it's nice to have these games back to back and um, yeah, we're all looking forward to it. No substitute for playing games, is there? Because I know the lads have been worked hard on the training ground. No one's had uh, weeks off, so to speak, but there's nothing like playing games, is there? No, you feel like it's that carrot at the end of the week for your hard work in training. You get that game to, you know, really go out there and express yourself. And when there's no game at the end of that week, it's it's... It's sort of, uh, you know, you, you don't feel like you don't know what to do with your weekend. You just sort of 
sat there watching Gillette and you know you want to be out there playing so um, obviously with this league it's, it can throw up stuff like that if you do go out the cups early and you have got international players so we've got to deal with that and um, you know and these fixtures can come quick and fast but we're fit enough to deal with it and um, obviously with the training we've got it's um, you know we're ready so.